Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, mysterious voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Today, I want to talk about some poetry because it is uh, Poetry Thursday, and I also wanted to catalog another LGBTQA uh, author, uh, as I've been doing that through May, June, and July. Uh, we're nearing the end, but uh, we, there is no shortage of high-quality LGBT poets out there, so um, pretty happy about what I found, and I hope to encounter more in the future. Uh, and today's poem is all about Bob Ross, a very unusual subject for a, po a poem. Uh, I am referring to Burning Down Suburbia by Sejana McRae. For those who don't know, Sejana McRae is a, a, an American poet. Uh, it seems um, that they, uh, they died pretty recently in 2023 at the time that I'm, uh, that I'm talking about this. It was like June, so it was uh, pretty, pre fairly recently. Um, and they, they had only been writing poetry, it seems, for a, a short amount of time, or at least getting it published for a short amount of time. Uh, but uh, they, they were well regarded in their work, uh, so getting, um, getting noticed in, in the short time that they were uh, writing. And they, they wrote about their identity as a, as a gay man uh, and um, talked about the black experience, among, among many other things. Uh, so a uh, pretty interesting poet that I found here today. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about Burning Down Suburbia. I will read it, do a little bit of analysis, and we will move on from there. Burning Down Suburbia, an ode to Bob Ross. When I was younger, I watched the world blend on PBS. The painter with the Jufro hypnotized me. With a thumb hooked through the palette, he painted forward from the base coat like a god might use a blueprint. Behind the image is always the word, light. On top came tiny crisscross strokes of pathalo blue, a rapturous pinwheel of words unveiled sky. Two sharp strokes of titanium white slashed with gray from the master's knife became wings, goals taking flight. I begged for nothing but paints that summer. Already equipped with an afro, I sat before the paper and the cakes of color and tried to figure out the paint of cerulean, the wrist twist to evergreens and the motion for clouds. The oversaturated paper dried and cracked with the fine lines of lightning. The worlds he reproduced might as well have been Asgard or Olympus. How I longed for a visit. Might he come armed with a fan brush and dressed in a button down? To be soothed by his voice and taken, lured from the dining room table and shown the suburb's majesty. Look, son, he might say, at the pile of autumn leaves, the shade on that forest green trash bag. Using his two-inch brush, he'd blend the prefab homes on the hill until they seemed mysterious, folded hues of Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown, and a blaze of alizarin crimson. And so that was Burning Down Suburbia. In terms of analysis, there is a fair bit worth talking about with this poem. In terms of narrative, uh, it's mostly taking place in the narrator's head. They're talking about uh, watching Bob Ross's uh, painting show on PBS when they were a child, being very amazed and being inspired to paint as a result. Uh, finding that they weren't quite as good as Bob Ross, but they were still uh, a decent painter in their own right, uh, hoping that Bob Ross would one day show up and uh, teach them, uh, you know, the, the uh, how to paint the suburbs around them, paint the majesty of, of that, or at least try to show them the majesty of the suburbs, because it's, it's not always easy to, to see. So it's 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 uh it's about looking up to somebody, uh maybe seeing yourself in them and 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 wanting to be further inspired by that person. Uh, it's it's interesting because Bob Ross he frequently painted uh you know 
uh, rural scenes, uh, kind of environmental, like mountains, forest, beaches, um, sort of uh, away from the city kind of landscapes. Uh, but uh, the, the narrator in this poem, they, uh, they live in the suburbs. They're probably not seeing what uh, Bob Ross saw. And so they're hoping, again, they're hoping that he comes in and shows them, you know, how to paint something that might not be as majestic. Um, kind of getting at uh, some discomfort with with suburbia there. I like the use of color in this poem. Uh, it's very noticeable. Uh, they say, I sat before the paper and the color cake or the cakes of color and tried to figure out the path of this cerulean, the wrist twist to evergreen and the motion for clouds. And later in the, po in the poem, they say, using his two inch brush, he'd blend the prefab homes on the hill until they seemed mysterious, folded hues of Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown, and a blaze of Alizarin crimson. Uh, kind of um, giving you a very illustrative picture of what's going on in this poem, what what the narrator is is seeing. It makes it a very descriptive, very colorful type poem. Uh, also using sound alikes in this um, in this poem, uh, like they say, a blaze of alizarin crimson, sort of Z sound in this poem, uh, which which I'm a fan of. Uh, the over oversaturated paper dried and cracked with the fine line, the fine lines of lightning, lines of lightning there. So a little bit of uh, alliteration as well. Well, um, again, it makes the poem flow and, and feel uh, more vibrant, more more alive, uh, and all of it just combines to be to to, to further elaborate on the desire to be a painter, uh, the desire to be an artist, and want to follow in the footsteps of a of a of a very decent human being like Bob Ross. Um, maybe they might not necessarily have the skill, but as as Bob Ross, you know, probably noted. Like, it doesn't matter if you have great, enormous skill, because Bob Ross wasn't that particularly, like, like, ex like well-regarded as a painter. He wasn't exactly creating, like, uh, Van Gogh-style paintings out there, but he was doing his best, and he created something that a lot of people admired, especially with his, with his positivity. Um, so, like... It, it, it doesn't matter if you're great at something, but what matters is if you keep trying and, and, and hone your craft. And uh, I think the the uh, the narrator in this poem, maybe even Sajana themselves, like they understood that. And um, I, I, I think their admiration for uh, Bob Ross is, is fully on display here because of, of how much they were inspired by him. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Burning Down Suburbia by Sajana McRae, uh, a pretty solid poem. Uh, I think it's interesting to look at the title, g given how positive everything is. Uh, like, it's important to consider the title and how it's it's somewhat negative. But you could argue that them burning down uh, suburbia is just them kind of adding different colors, different lights to the to the poem. It's not a literal burning down. Uh, but given that uh, people of color have an off have often been excluded from uh, suburbia and whatnot, maybe maybe that's a, another ind indication of what that title means. Uh, if you have any comments to make about this poem, anything you want to comment on my in my review or my reading here, let me know in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about this. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that other people can find out about this poem or this poet or Poetry Thursday if they don't already know. Uh, also, join the Discord if you are interested in talking more about poems or books or movies or whatever in general. Uh, and until then, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and artistic travels. Farewell.